am here at Farnborough Airport at what would have been the Farnborough International Air Show. But there is no air show. So what am I doing here? I'm actually here to visit with Gulfstream Aerospace. Clark Mountcher, the Managing Director of Customer Support, is going to walk me around their brand new facility here at the airport and explain why the company has moved from Luton in the middle of a pandemic. Obviously, we've been filming today adhering to all the socially distant guidelines and we're far enough apart from each other, Clark, that we can take these masks off to uh, have our discussion. So shall we do that? Absolutely. Thank you. What? What a time. What a time. Tell me, how has it been doing this amazing move from Luton to Farnborough in the middle of a pandemic? Well, we thought we'd plan for most eventualities. Um, pandemic wasn't on our list of things to plan for. Um, the importance of keeping our employees, our suppliers and our customers safe has meant that we've had to change some of the practices to allow us to deliver this building on time and actually on budget. So the most important thing is safety. It has impacted um, some of our suppliers, but actually um, by working together as a team, some contingency planning, a lot of late nights, we were able to, uh, to deliver this on, on time, uh, whilst also maintaining safe practices. I've always thought that the Luton facility is huge and very dynamic. Why have you moved from Luton to Farnborough? So our customer base is changing. We have our G650, 650ERs, and soon to be our exciting flagship, the G700, coming into region. And we would like to be able to support more customers out of the Farnborough UK location. We had outgrown the space in Luton, and it's part of an overarching strategy for facility modernization and expansion that's been in place for over uh, three or four years and is also uh, taking place in the US. Uh, I think you have a, a base in London too, don't you? Are you going to maintain that? We do. We have our sales and design um, studio and offices based in Mayfair in London. That will still remain open. It's a key point and a key opportunity for to bring our customers in so that they can look at the design of their aircraft. Um, we will also maintain some service support based out of Luton. We won't have uh, permanent premises, but we will have um, our airborne support team based out of Luton to continue to support Luton, whose preference is to use that location. I think what's interesting to me is this will have a big impact on customers, some of your customers who aren't actually in the US, I think being in region here? Yes, our customers have the choice of where they want their aircraft to be um, overhauled, um, serviced, maintained. We like to offer a consistent product, a consistent service, consistent customer service, whether you're on the west coast in California, whether you're on the east coast in Savannah, and now whether you're in Farnborough in the UK. We want to give our customers the opportunity for choice but also we don't want our customers who are based in Europe, Middle East and Africa to feel the need that they have to go to the US um, for the level of service that we can provide here now. And, and what I like about that is obviously there's a cost saving, there's an environmental saving in fuel and travel. I've, I've been really excited to see some of the environmental measures you've mm. got in place here. Can you just speak to me a little bit about that? So when we started to design the building and we worked with um, our architect, there were quite a number of environmental uh, initiatives that they put forward and we've accepted all those initiatives. A few of those are that we have uh, power to the ramp and also um, inverted power in the hangar. Now what that means is we no longer have GPU that use fuel or diesel, uh, which cuts down on noise and emissions as well. Uh, we harvest the rainwater that we collect. We also have uh, radiant heating systems. And these measures, along with others, will make sure that we hit the uh, very good rating for the BRIAM. BRIAM is um, a sustainability measure for, for buildings. 
And I love this too because I know lots of the reports I read that attracting more young people into the industry environment is obviously a big concern. Um, and locally, the fact that you've come here in the middle of this unprecedented time mm. when people are sadly losing jobs, are you going to be creating more jobs and opportunities with this facility opening? Yeah, absolutely. We've doubled this capacity. Um, that we had previously in Luton, which means we need more staff, we need more support staff, we can work with local suppliers, and we can also work with schools and colleges um, and become a responsible neighbour um, as well. So we're all excited to be here. It also, as you mentioned, brings jobs um, to our employees and their families as well. So we're looking forward to, to working with the community to introduce probably another 100 jobs based on over what we have at Luton at the moment. Oh, that's fantastic. And what I've seen today is that Clark and his team have been having a party. Clark, tell me, why does everyone deserve a party? What have you learned about your team during this period? So we've had a challenge in as much that COVID has meant that a lot of our support from the US and hasn't been able to, to travel because of the restrictions. So the team at Luton that are now becoming the team at Farnborough have had their day jobs to do and they've taken on the additional work of the project management and it's really galvanised the team. We've had a goal, um, we've had some critical milestones, we've celebrated the milestones, it's not all been plain sailing, but it's really brought the team together. Um, I think that we are stronger as a team now uh, than we were, probably tireder than we were, but we're stronger as a team and we're ready to welcome our customers back into the facilities and provide them with what they expect from Goldstream, which is world-class customer service. Clark, thank you so much. Thanks for taking time out of your day. I know you've got a lot on, so we're going to take a look around the facility and I wish you the best of luck with this brand new venture. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to see us today uh, and I hope you uh, uh, enjoy your look around the facility.